bear market. That's a word that no one in the NFT and crypto space likes to hear, but it is just the reality that these markets move in cycles. We do have bull markets and bear markets, and once that bear market comes, you want to be ready, you want to be prepared to make the best choices possible, to minimize your losses, and to make the most money possible in the long run. Because at the end of the day, bear markets do give you a lot of long-term opportunities with cheap prices on blue chip NFTs and just a bunch of other things. So today, I'm here to share my tips on what I will do once we get into a bear market and hopefully help you guys survive and thrive in the bear market. So before we jump into this first tip, do make sure to follow me over on Twitter and check out my Patreon. Both links will be down below. And if you get any value at all from this video, do consider to subscribe to never miss any of my videos and also smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. But with that said, let's jump right into tip number one. Okay, so this first thing is a pretty obvious one and it's invest in blue chip NFTs. Blue chip NFTs are NFTs that already probably has been through multiple bear markets. They have a solid track record, they have a strong community, and most likely a really good team as well. And in a bear market, if a blue chip NFT does drop by like 40 or 50%, something like that, it could give you a super good opportunity to just buy the NFT and hold it for multiple months into the next bull market and give you some solid returns. And just to give you guys some examples of blue chip NFTs that I would for sure look into getting in a bear market, we have Stone Ape Crew. This is a super interesting project. They have a strong community, a really talented team that are constantly out here building, trying to improve their project. We also have something like Tayo Robotics, another really, really solid project with a great community, some super talented devs that are in it for the long run and just want to see this project improve and grow. And basically the same with something like D-Gods, another project with a great community, a solid track record and just a really talented team. Okay, now moving on to number two on the list and it's network. Network, 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 connect with people, make friendships, make these valuable connections in the bear market because it is indeed in the bear market you want to connect with people because the people that actually stick around in the bear market those are the real valuable people you want to connect with because the people that just leave in the bear market and comes back in another bull market those people are not really worth connecting with but the people that are constantly active on twitter constantly out here in the space in a bear market those are the people you want to connect with and you never know what a connection will lead to and these connections doesn't have to be anyone with a huge following or anything like that just people staying active in the NFT space during a bear market. And those connections can lead to so many awesome things. Maybe that guy you connected with and became friends with ends up getting a decent following and becoming pretty popular in the space. Just having that connection is so valuable. Or if it's just a really knowledgeable guy, you can share information, share alpha with each other, help each other make money. Or maybe it just leads to a really nice friendship. So in a bear market, that's for sure the time to reach out to people, say hi, say what's up, become friends, share information with each other, and just build those relationships. That's for sure something I will be looking to do in a bear market. Also, there's just not as much going on in the market, so it gives you some extra time to actually reach out to more people. Okay, now moving on to number three on the list, we have reflect and think about previous trades, what you could have done differently and improved on, and also what you did correctly, because that's also really important. So just look back over the last couple of months, see what you could have done differently. For example, if you head over to Magic Eden and go to sell and into activities, you can see all the trades that you have ever done on Magic Eden with this wallet that you're logged into. So just looking back at previous trades multiple months ago, that's something that I don't think a lot of you guys do, but it's something that could be really valuable and help you improve going into the next bull run. Okay, now number four, we have grow a following. As I said earlier, in a bear market, there's not as many things going on in the market and it gives you more time to, as I said, network with people, but also try to grow a following. So while you're trying to connect with people, network, make those friendships, start tweeting different things. Start sharing your alphas, sharing your knowledge, sharing your experiences with other people and I'm pretty sure people will follow you if you do that genuinely and I'm pretty sure all of you guys have a Twitter account but only a small amount of you actually use it and tweet different stuff but just trying to gain a little bit of a following by sharing your knowledge and your experiences with others help each other out. It can be super valuable because once you grow a small following it will make it so much easier to connect with other people with a bigger following. Also it makes it way easier to reach out to projects, talking to different projects, because with a huge following, people get more incentive to talk to you, that's just the truth. And talking from experience, it does also give you more whitelist opportunities, alpha opportunities. Maybe once people see that you're actually knowledgeable, people invite you to different alpha groups. If you gain a couple of thousand of followers over on Twitter, you can, for example, start hosting different whitelist giveaways for projects, which also gives you a whitelist bot, stuff like that. So just trying to grow a little bit of a following by sharing your
your knowledge on, for example, Twitter could be super, super valuable. And I know that a lot of you guys may not be comfortable with tweeting and stuff like that, but I do highly recommend you to just get out of your comfort zone, start sharing and tweeting stuff on Twitter, connect with people, and it will make such a positive impact on your life and on your entire crypto and NFT journey. Okay, moving on to number five, we have take some time off. As mentioned, bear markets are slower, not as many exciting things happening in the market, and it gives you a nice opportunity to take some time off, focus on your mental and physical health, spend some more time with family and friends, and it will most likely improve your life. I know from personal experience that I spend way too much time sitting in front of my computer looking at NFTs, and it is pretty draining on my mental and physical health. So bear markets does give you the opportunity to take some more time off because you won't miss out on as many things as you would in a bull market. So just focusing on mental and physical health as well as in real life relationships will for sure have a massive positive impact on your life in general. Okay, now number six, I've already talked about buying blue chip NFTs, but also if you can't afford blue chip NFTs, look for projects that have solid teams. In the bear market, the one thing you want to look at in an NFT project is the team and the devs behind it. If it, for example, is a project that already has been out for a while and the team and devs are still out here building constantly, trying to improve the project, even though it's not a blue chip yet, there's a big possibility that that project will do really well going into the next bull market. So look through their Twitter, join their Discord, ask questions, connect with different teams behind projects, ask them what they're doing in the bear market to improve the project. So just find projects with solid teams and devs that are in it for the long run, and it will probably be a pretty good long-term hold. Okay, so we covered a lot in this video, and just to recap, we have invest in blue chip NFTs, network with people, make those connections, make friendships in the space, and it will have a great impact on your NFT journey. We have reflect on previous trades. What did you do correctly? What could you improve on? Look back over the last couple of months in the previous bull run and just look over what you could improve on to make you even more comfortable with trading NFTs. And it for sure helps you improve overall and make even more money in the next bull run. We have grow a following. This could also have a huge impact on your NFT journey. We have take some time off to focus on your mental and physical health as well as your IRL relationships. And we have find projects which has solid and long-term teams behind them that are constantly out here building even in the bear market because there are a lot of projects that will just disappear or like the team behind the project will just disappear in the bear market because they don't see any money coming in. So bear markets truly shows you which teams to trust in the long run because most teams and devs will just disappear and wreck the project in the bear market because they don't see any short-term money being made while other teams will see this as a great opportunity to build and improve the project for those longer-term gains. So those are the projects you want to invest in. Now with all of that said, if you got any value from this video, smash that like, subscribe down below, let me know down in the comment section if you got any value from it at all, I would love to know. And if you want to see more of these types of videos instead of just the new hype projects minting soon, do let me know down in the comment section as well because I really enjoy making these types of videos. Make sure to follow me over on Twitter and check out my Patreon. Now with all of that said, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.